Hi, let's see how to interface LCD screen with PIX, PIX 16F 877A microcontroller. So, and you can develop the program by using MPLAB IDE and you can simulate output with Proteus. So this is the MPLAB IDE tool. So just select project tab and choose the option project wizard. And click on next. So now you can choose your target device on which microcontroller you want to develop the program. Now so as per my application PIC 16F877A is my microcontroller. After choosing device, click on next. And now it will ask for compiler. Which compiler you already installed with your tool? So there are different tool shoots which are available like CCS compiler, so high tech compiler, high tech Pixies tool shoot. These are all the different compiler tool shoots which are available. So now I selected high tech universal tool shoot. So this is optional. You can choose or you can work with any compiler. There is no problem. And click on next. And now you have to give your project name. Like my, my program name is LCD interface. This is the project name and click on save button and now you can find out the path where this project is going to save and after giving this click on next and next and finish and now so your project is created with a specific target device which is pic 16f877a with the compiler tool shoot and high tech and C, C compiler. Now to open editor window go file tab and choose the option new and here you can start writing your program. So for all pick families pick.h is the header file name. And now you can do your define declarations with the hardware physical lines where you, are, you connected RS, RW enable lines of LCD screen and where you connected data lines. So I am defining RS which is connected with port C 0th bit. So how can you access port C 0th bit by defining RC 0 so that you have to write in capital letters so all internal registers of PIC microcontroller you have to use in uppercase letters and even I have other control lines which are RW RW connected with port C first bit and next control line which is enable which connected with port C second bit. So these are the three control lines declarations and so anyway the LCD data lines D0 to D7 which are connected with entire port so there is no need to declare individual bits of port. And here I will start main and here so whatever the lines you are going to use, input or output, you have to define with the help of TRIS register. So TRIS is the register which is used to configure the bits either input or output. By making zeros which is output, by making ones it is an input. So because of F8.
so f8 is 4 ones 5 ones and 3 zeros so here rb rc0 rc1 rc2 bits configured as output so that will be the meaning of those three bits I am going to make it zero next so I am going to connect data lines to the entire port so I am going to make all the bits as zeros so complete port B bits port B pins configured as output so for this data lines are connected Now, so anyway, whenever you are looking to write the program for LCD screen, so you have to follow some commands which requires to move the values. So LCD requires some basic commands to display the text on screen. So those commands are I'll save those commands with for loop. So unsign care. So otherwise we'll do all the individual characters. So now I'll enter into the while loop. So first I'll send commands to this port B. So port B A equals to 0x38. This is the command you have to pass to LCD screen to initialize all the crystals. But whenever you are sending command, make sure your RS logic as 0, RW logic as 0, and you have to make enable pin high to low once. So you have to maintain certain time delay between enable high and enable low. So for that I will take one integer variable v. So this is the time you have to maintain between enable high to low. So this delay probably So it is 2000 so enable 0 this is the first command I am going to send through this port B data lines the next command which requires 0x10 this is the command for shift the cursor position to right so already RS is 0 and RW is 0 again there is no need to make zeros so just make sure your enable high to low ones so this enable high to low operation you have to do for every change of data and next command which is 0x 0c or 0e So again make sure your enable pin high to low so p equals to 0 this is the proper delay we have to maintain between each enable operation so whenever you are doing this enable pin high to low once then LCD data lines understands it is a change of data 
next command is cursor position so this is 80 is for first line first position of lcd screen and again you have to make enable pin high to low once So after that, these are the four basic commands required to the LCD screen to initialize all the crystals and shift the cursor position to right and display on cursor off and first line first position. Now I started giving data to these data lines through port B IO pins. Now my character is I. Now this is a text or character or data. While passing data to the LCD screen, so make sure your RS logic has one and enable one. enable is zero and the next character you are looking to send then give the next character to this port b and then give enable pin high to low once so if you don't want repeat these three lines every time so declare as if one function which is enabled and you can call in the main program And you are looking next character. So this is the way you can give one by one character to this port. Otherwise you can create a for loop and you can save it in array or you can save it in string. And you can do that. that will reduce the program lines but if you want to understand clearly so I'll repeat the same lines again that is the next character So after typing your program then click on go for file tab and choose option save. Now our program name is LCD interfacing and save this file with .c extension compulsory. This is the program you have to execute. and add this source file just select source file and right click and choose the option add files and select on lcd interface and click on open now go project tab and choose the option build so these are the simple mistakes you have to correct and click on the error line it will show this related errors and this is build successful once build is successful then your program which is compiled clearly and just minimize this 
and open the simulation tool you want to see the output of this program with pick microcontroller and LCD combination just choose the microcontroller which is pick 16F 877A and click on LCD now connect this device and LCD screen as per program so as per program RS which is connected with RC0 and RW which is connected with RC1 and enable connected with RC2 and data lines which are connected with port B so follow the sequence compulsory now just click on this controller it will ask for program file path select on folder symbol and which is saved in D drive and pick programs now choose the hex file with this name LCD interface click on OK now you can play this So this is the text I just want to look on LCD screen if you want to change the text you can text you can change the text on your program so as per your requirement so thanks for watching this is a simple program which is LCD screen interfacing with pick microcontroller with microchip IDE and produce combination Thanks for watching.